Hey guys, how's it going? I'm gonna do a defense review. Um, I need to... Um, I farmed HM on, HM on my Chris, and I'm not spending any more orbs on that manner. By the way, we've seen a couple Ingrids uh, this week. Um, so I want to put Spurn on Baby Marth, and I think that I will want to keep Ether on him rather than giving him noon time. Although... Um, that might be up for debate. Um, if I can find anybody online to talk with, to talk to, to talk around, uh, we're gonna we're gonna decide together. I guess we're gonna make this a group effort. Um, because oh, and now Yoon's gonna go in. Yeah, but she does nothing. Okay. Uh, so Ether has ended up being very useful, the extra damage does come into play, and while I normally never recommend Ether unless you've got both slaying and heavy blade effects going on, uh, extra season is really breaking all the rules essentially. Uh, so yeah, uh, these are just uh, my thoughts on offense next week, because Astro offense is dangerous, let's be fair. Um, I can deal... Uh, today I failed against the Cav line, because on Light Season uh, I don't really plan for it too much, although uh, I would have been fine, just my initial placement was... Um, it wasn't taken into account how the next turns would have played out. So this is the only match that I lost completely all week. Um, and it's against the Mila. Uh, I haven't faced many Milas, just in general. Uh, for my Water Season 1 Dancer defense, uh, Mila completely shut that down. Uh, so yeah, there was nothing that I could do there. Um, but nevertheless, uh, I, I'm happy with how my defense did this week. This is not a complicated defense at all. It's incredibly straightforward. Uh, but, I mean... If it works, it works. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't see Virion being used very often. I don't use visible buffs, and they didn't put Corin in range of him. Uh, I also... My pots are also very easily snipable, so there's that. This is an Aether Heavy Blade combo, which you don't see too often. And he gets buffed as long as he's got more HP than his opponent. More current HP, not max HP even though his max HP is high as well. Uh, what do we got here? Okay, yeah, he's gonna snipe everybody. And unfortunately, my my Eliwood didn't drop below half HP, so uh, he wasn't able to uh, get wings done. And if he had, he would have been able to kill one unit, Gale Force kill another unit, and they would have quit. So I need to put Fury 4 onto my Alleywood. We also had one more match where this came into play, so I am definitely going to switch to it. Uh, I might do it right now. Oh, sorry. I thought I went to the next match. Ah... Uh... Today I wasn't super caffeinated, I was definitely not as hyper as yesterday. And I would like to have a drink right now, but okay, I found a bottle. Okay, this is Coke Zero. <sighs> Alright, so... Astro Season is what we have to plan with, and we... Uh, we will be getting our Mythic in the middle of the season. Our new Astro Mythic. Finally. Hopefully. Hopefully they're not gonna be shit. <laughs> hopefully Astro is not going to be such a pain. Although I do like that it's a competitive season. Yeah, there's a limit to fucking everything. Especially compared to how fucking easy light season is. <laughs> oh man. Alright, so... This is my coke bottle opening, and this is me chugging. Legendary Julia is, a, is an interesting hero. I never pulled for one, and I never got one. But essentially, she is immune to magic damage. My team is just red nukes, uh, red physical nukes, tanky stuff. 
so she doesn't do too much against me she was I assume brought along because she was a seasonal unit and this doesn't appear to be a very competitive player but she's tanky as balls and also how did you survive okay you survived just on your merits hmm. that's neat and they're gonna finish me off on the final turn um I might consider getting a Mila in the future pulling for her although um, at this stage this is the guy that we fought with the Larum they're using her both on offense and on defense and I assume that they might have uh, as their favorite unit at the, uh, on on their team one so I'm gonna check that after a match anyways Mila does make the game a lot easier for so many players um, I don't know if you guys watched the Phoenix, the Phoenix Master 1 video, but yeah, uh, she is. Uh, she, the fact that we've got both a free dancer and a free isolation unit makes hit and run really easy. Um, I don't really run hit and run as a strategy myself, but um, because I don't feel that I need to, let's be honest, my my both my Ikes are just so strong. Uh, but that could be an option, I guess. And they missed the pot because they went too hard and they didn't take the pot, whereas they could have taken it very easily. No, they they do? No, oh, they lose the Larum. Right, I, I remember this. Okay, so this was very lucky. <laughs> And they do get the pot. Let's see. No, they're... Was it this guy? Yeah, I think it was this guy. Or was it this guy? I don't remember. Who do I click on? Yeah, it was this guy. Okay, so their first unit is not Laren, but rather this Michaelis. Uh, who, on their defense, did literally nothing. Anyways, this was Cavline Guy. With... Uh, is this a plus 10 Brave Lynn? Plus 8, okay. I haven't put any merges on mine because I never really was able to pull one that was plus tank or plus speed. I only pulled like plus defense, plus resistance, plus HP I guess and neutral ones. And I want to keep a neutral one for free to play guides. Uh, it doesn't impact my score in any, in any form so that's perfectly fine to run. Also, drawback is something that horses run. I'm not a fan of it personally. And yeah, this guy is gonna live actually. And with fury, I, with one more point in fury, I might have killed him. <sighs> I'm I'm starting to get mosquito bites. Um, I've got one of those things that you plug into the wall, and they they spread poison over time but it's not doing its job enough oh, that was stressful today's battles were stressful definitely my bikes really cover for each other's weaknesses and um i mean pulse smoke would be the superior option of all night but i don't feel that it's necessary yet to commit to it What's the A skill on you? Just an HP skill, okay. I don't. Uh, one thing that I like that I wanted in the past was a Gation for my dancer, my AR defense dancers. But at this point, I don't feel that it's necessary, and I won't be pulling for it. Here's the second meal of the week. Um, I don't remember this battle, but I think that my units like went to this lane and so Mila didn't take effect I remember last week losing to a fallen Leon really badly let's see what they do this is whoa whoa what was this oh yeah they fucked it up they fucked it up themselves I didn't do anything they did at all all right Oh, and now she, and now the isolation got removed. Is that what happened? What's your A skill? Is it Fury? Yeah, it's Fury. Okay. 
do they give up yes they do sorry Takurai but that was essentially your mistake and here's the second ingrid of the week with don't run this garbage this is like no 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 and also i will be always going on record that you don't need null c disrupt and and since people on reddit are saying oh the final build that you should be going for is repel on bike no it's not no it's really not no follow-up is gonna be better in uh it's gonna be better when you're actually going to be playing Bray bike repel is used for is used by whales and whales they cannot afford to run a lucina because it's not scoring enough for them they will run two plus ten mystics and one more mythic who will be each merge on that third mythic will be scoring so they can't afford to run a lucina so they will be running everything on bike so that's why they want to run repel um and once again if you're building a repel unit, you don't need to put like 75 fucking speed on it. You just need to be 10 speed above your attackers at most. And even if you're lower, you're still getting some effect from it. You're not getting full effect, but still. Boop. <laughs> Yun is so underrated with, uh, with Bond 4. Just, people just don't expect the damage and she's also immune to debuffs which is fantastic because people often rely on that oh and she's got wings 2 rather than wings 3 i could be putting that up she's also got wings 2 wow have i not been pulling for canes i think i have some this match we saw today and it's this very interesting Matthew build which I saved because I don't know how useful it can be because look at this fucking resistance uh, but still they're they're patching up the resistance the problem is that my team is physical uh, Matthew has this very weird thing where aside from the broadly fan effect he gets plus six plus six defense and resistance after combat which i mean is not i don't want to say that it's not synergistic because it's a good effect like you're always gonna be fine with it but still is there a swap yes there's a swap and now they're pulling out leila but i think that matthew is going no matthew's not gonna die but i'm gonna dance through them and kill a bunch of their units Here's a one, here's a two, and there's no three. Okay, there's only two. Cool. And I believe that's no, that's a soul, that's not an ether on Matthew. And they just gave up. Okay. Uh next up it's this guy. No, this is what we just saw. Fake news is the final guy. Uh, and yeah, this is three carries without <laughs> without any supports. This would have been great against cav lines. Fucking 25 carries, but uh, 25 tanks. But you need a little bit more against uh, such specified teams, specialized teams such as mine. Ugh. I'm coming down from the caffeine and the sugar, I think. I'm feeling really mellow. Can I kill the puny? Let's see. Yes, we can. And I'm in wings range. Yay. Okay, that didn't do much. And she didn't jump because she was the one without wings. Alright, but they still gave up. Alright, so these were my defenses for the week. We hit tier 27, that's really cool. Um, so let's look at our heroes for next week. Um, who's bonus? Who do I have? I didn't look at it at all. So horsey building is the bonus building. There is you, I have none of you. I have you, I have you. I think I'm going to be using Lawrence because he's ranged. Uh, this lane, let's see if... She's wind. Let's see if it's wind season. It is not. So they ran two weeks in a row 
that here that wasn't going to be uh, the bonus here. Okay. Uh, where's Lawrence? I've been farming HM on him. Here you are. Put you here. And I'm going to give you a blessing. One, two, three, four, and five. I don't have any sweeping changes that I want to do, I don't think. Uh, the fact that we're going to be getting... Um, that we're going to be getting our Astro Mythic is also going to let me get some more Mythic Blessings, hopefully. If I can pull for him. I have a few orbs and the mighty credit card is ready. Okay. Uh, you will need something like Repo or Smite. So where are you? Uh, so many books. Uh, I thought I saw you. Oh, right. Sorry. Uh, I have no idea what season it is next week. Even though I just looked. Where's Lawrence? Here you are. Let's give you Repo and Smite. And I will decide upon which one I like the most. Smite. Where's Smite? Here's Smite. I'm never gonna build a Mordecai so I can sack him fairly, fairly safely. Although, this sounds nice. It's not a Link level 3 because life sucks, but it's still gonna be better than nothing. Okay. So, where are my teams gonna be? Mm. It's gonna be water season. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. Um, so you can party with legendary Azura. I don't think I have any earth legendaries that I care of, that I care about. But still. Um, where is Zora? I'm blanking here. Here we go. Alright. So there's this lineup. Um, do I want Tamari over Zora at this point? I think I do because of this arm trap. It's gonna end up being more utility. Uh, you, I cannot run you. So let's see who we can bring. Who's... Let's see who we've got in terms of Earth Heroes. You're an Earth Legendary, you're an Earth Legendary, but who cares? You're an Earth Legendary, but you're awful on offense. Oh, God damn it! Yeah, I don't think there is anything that I can really bring here. So what? Um, I could try Chrom. I could try Chrom. Chrom and Legendary Zora. Let's see if this is gonna. If this pairing is worth bringing over Branya. Uh, so I'm gonna give you the solo skill. And I'm gonna keep Swift Stance on Baby Marth, although he's not as powerful. Um, you're gonna need to run. Not a tactic anymore, but a wave. Yes, that's fine. I still haven't put Deathblow 4 on Reinhardt for some reason. I should have the fodder for it. You're fine. You're. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get your get your skills back because I'm more so looking to use you rather than rather than just farm HM, because I'm also using this guy for, um, for, what's it called? Uh, forging Bonds. Uh, I think I'm gonna run Reaper rather than Smite. I'm gonna run Reaper, Reaper, Smite. 
Yeah. Um, so what did I say that I wanted on you? I don't remember. I don't remember what I wanted on you. You're gonna run a chill. Yes. You might run chill speed actually. Yes. Uh, and what do I run on you? I could run res red chill res. Yeah, that sounds fine. So I've got quad chills. Sweet. Alright, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. You're running, I don't know, um, distant defense? Mirror stance? Ooh, you get a resistance pain though. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. We're gonna try it, but I don't know. Oh, you're running, uh... Squad A's, cool. You're fine, and you're here, and you're gonna run not this set, but rather this set over. Ah, oh, shit. Let's set this up differently. And I need to farm um, to farm Chris in order to switch this uh, this close call to the other thing. I think I want. I de I definitely think I want Spurn because Baby Martha is really good. He just needs the proper support and such. Okay, so these are my teams for next week. I'm gonna do some farming off camera, and let's hope for the best. Um, do I have anybody else that I could bring? I could actually bring Matthew, since I haven't brought him on forever. I don't know if I'm gonna like him more than Krom, but I can try. Where's Matthew? Here he is. And his support is... Tethys. Tethys, yes. Let's try this, and uh, rather than double smoke, I'm going to run a brazen. Yes, brazen. Brazen speed, let's try brazen speed. Yeah, okay, let's try this. Let's see how next week goes. Thank you guys for watching this. For watching this. I hope you'll stick around for the next videos coming up tomorrow and such. And as always, hail Satan. Bye-bye.